So El, let's start with the weekend yeah. and being on the bench for the first team. How was that for you? Yeah, it was a, a great experience. It was good to be around that sort of environment and hopefully uh, many more to come. So why is that important for you as a young keeper to be included in the first team squad like that? Um, I think it shows uh, the level that I've got to be at. Um, I think that um, being around that environment shows like, um, like how much pressure there is, but as long as you, you can deal with it, it's a, it's a good sign. What do you get from it then? From, when, from that whole first team match day experience, what do you get from it? How different is it from a B team experience? Um, there's a lot more preparation. Um, the food uh, is uh, a bit different. The, the rest time is a lot different. Uh, the walk from the state from the hotel to the stadium is uh, different, so it's uh, it's good to get that experience. How relaxed do you feel when you're in that environment with the first team players? Like you said, you're having breakfast with them at the hotel, and you're spending the morning with them, relaxing. How how comfortable are you in that environment? Um, at first, I was a bit a bit uncomfortable, but I, I got used to it. I'm I'm with them every day, so it's not it's not anything different. On a day to day basis, do you interact? Is there a divide between the B team and first team, or do you guys interact quite a lot? Um, no, we interact. There's, um, we're, we're all friends. Like we, we all get along. There's no, there's no divide. And what do you think? Why do you think that's a good thing? Why do you think it's good that there is no separation, that everybody integrates with each other? I think it's good because um, when like, a B team player comes up to first team training, like it's a lot easier for them just to get straight involved and getting to know everyone and feeling comfortable around everyone. How far ahead of Saturday did you know that you were going to be included in the squad? Uh, two two days, two days. So then, what what goes through your mind when that news is broken to you? I'm just getting prepared, getting prepared if anything happens, being being ready to play the match if anything happens. Tell us about Yanni, your goalkeeper coach. How how influential has he been to you and your development here at the club? Yeah, Yanni's yeah Yanni's great. Um, he always pushes me, always works me hard. Um, I think yeah, he's been a big part of my development. Always always looking after me. Now that it's 2018. And you've been included in a couple of first team squads Saturday with England. That's happening with you. What are your goals now for you personally? Um, to make a first team appearance, that'd be good. Um, and to keep getting in the England squads. Let's talk about England. You're not back with them until I think March. Yeah. So, what, what's your involvement with them been like? You know, what's it like for you as a player to be involved at that level? Yeah, it's good. It's sort of um, <clears throat> it's a good experience because. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of pressure, like in a first team environment when I play. So it's it's good to get that sort of that bridge in between the B team and the first team, sort of. But um, yeah, it's it's a very good experience. When, when you've been away with England now, and then you come back to Brentford, how do you think? What kind of like experience and skills do you feel like you can bring back? How does that help you develop here? Because it's a completely different in club and country. It's it's a completely different environment. Yeah, um, I think. Uh, like the first team training, it's a lot. It's a lot more high tempo, like the training, and even the matches. So, it's good to get that sort of experience when I'm away, and then when I come back, I'm ready to go straight back in. Exeter City this morning uh, here at the training ground. Yeah. So, how important is it to start 2018 in the right manner? Yeah, it's good. We we've, we've been on on an okay form uh, in, um, throughout the last period of 2017. I think we just got to start the year good. Um, show what we can do, like like we have been. Um, most importantly, get a result. What's Kev saying to you? Is he saying that it is the result he's after, or is it the performance he's after? Um, it's a bit of both. He likes um, he likes getting results, but um, it's a performance that really matters. With someone like Kev at the helm, someone who's been there and done it, played for this club for years, you know, a bit of a club legend, skipper. How important is that for you guys to have somebody like that leading you? Yeah, it's very important. He. He shows us like the way we should act, the way um, we should be training every day, and it's, he's a very good role model. When you when you play against teams like Exeter, with the utmost respect to them, they're you know a League Two side. Mm. What are the kind of you know what are the kind of differences when you play against a team like that? You know, is it more of a physical game? What what, what do you expect from them? Uh, we need to be prepared for um, for a hard working team, um, for them to um, go in behind a lot more. Uh, long ball team, like we need to be prepared for a fight. 